the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2019 Hörberg Prize to Dennis J. Slayman and Brian J. Drucker for their groundbreaking contributions to the clinical development of targeted therapy directed against genetic aberrations in cancer. We usually hear about chemotherapy and radiation when dealing with cancer. But these two researchers have developed a whole new approach to knocking out cancer with targeted therapy at the gene level. One person who has experienced the significance of this research is Dr. Martin Höglund. When this kind of treatment was introduced, it was a breakthrough, a really revolution for patients with chronic leukemia. Previously, almost all patients died due to their disease. Today, almost all patients survive and have a normal lifespan. Maria Stan is one of many affected by cancer. She was diagnosed with breast cancer 12 years ago. It was in the winter 2006-2007. It was my husband that found it. I had all the treatment and the radiation after the chemotherapy and I was ready after a year, I would say. In the spring, after um, the treatment, I, um, I felt something. It was something strange, and the cancer was back. I, I felt that I'm not sure I'm going to make it now. The cause of Maria Stan's cancer was a specific change in her genes. Human tissue is made up of billions of cells whose numbers are controlled by a carefully regulated process for cell division. Cancer occurs due to damage in the cell's genetic material causing them to begin dividing uncontrollably and grow into tumors. So to stop cancer, researchers need to stop the uncontrolled cell division. During the 80s and 90s, scientists identified genetic changes and proteins which give rise to cancer. The type of cancer Maria Stan had is called HER2-positive cancer, after the HER2 gene. This is a very aggressive cancer with a high risk of relapse. The HER2 gene was already known in the 1980s when Dennis Slayman began studying it at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA. After many years of studies, researchers finally demonstrated that this gene can be linked to relapse and survival time, and that it in many cases causes the breast cancer itself. It was this knowledge that Dennis Slayman would later use to stop the breast cancer. The HER2 gene encodes a protein, which in turn affects both the cell division and the spreading of the cancer. If too much of this protein is present, the cell divides uncontrollably, leading to cancer. Dennis Slayman analyzed the effect of inserting an antibody called trastuzumab into cells with too much HER2 protein. Trastuzumab attaches to the protein, blocks signals to the cell nucleus, and activates the immune system. In this way, both the cell division and the spreading can be stopped. Together with other treatments, the cancer can be eliminated. At the same time Dennis Slayman was working in California, we find Brian Drucker in Portland at Oregon Health and Science University. At the start of the 1990s, Brian Drucker became interested in chronic myeloid leukemia, or CML a specific type of bone marrow and blood cancer that was very hard to cure. But after other researchers had found a specific gene error linked to this leukemia, Brian Drucker saw new opportunities. CML is a blood cancer that develops in the stem cells in the bone marrow. Researchers had already discovered a chromosome defect that gives rise to a cancer gene 
which codes for a faulty protein. The protein causes the cells in the bone marrow to divide too quickly, producing far too many white blood cells. The result is leukemia. Brian Drucker showed that a molecule that blocks the defective protein also prevents the overproduction of white blood cells. So with the help of this molecule, the cancer can be controlled and halted. Both Brian Drucker and Dennis Slayman had to struggle in order to translate their research into treatments. But around the turn of the millennium, the very first targeted cancer drugs came to market. I'm absolutely amazed and impressed. Someone who saw the benefits of these new medicines was Professor Jonas Berg. The introduction of trastuzumab as a therapy modality for breast cancer has dramatically improved the outcome for these patients. So the observation made by Professor Dennis Lehman together with co-workers at Memorial Sloan Kettering and other preclinical scientists have been of instrumental importance for how to handle breast cancer, how to understand the biology, and how to tailor or to give precision medicine to this very group of patients. One of the patients who received the medicine was Maria Stan, who previously had only small chances of survival. I'm just so happy that I'm, that I'm here now and that I can continue with uh, this medicine, living a normal life. Dennis Slayman's and Brian Drucker's discoveries, combined with traditional treatments, have already saved thousands of lives. And their work continues to create conditions for finding new types of targeted cancer treatments. The Hörberg Prize was founded by Swedish businessman Bengt Hörberg and is financed by the Hörberg Foundation. The prize is awarded annually by the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and rewards pioneering cancer research with one million U.S. dollars, the majority of which goes into further research. It was a complete surprise to me to get the call, so we're extremely pleased to be receiving this award and particularly to be receiving the additional funding to my laboratory. Our tagline at our Cancer Institute is to end cancer as we know it. 